good morning. It's Tuesday morning. We started work at six. It's about seven o'clock now. Working on our first container run of the day. Full 40 foot container full of packaging material. Coming down here to the Campbell Industrial Area. We're gonna stand by off load. And then we'll take this empty 40 foot container back to the shipping terminal of Sand Island. At which point we'll pick up a load of lumber on a flat rack and bring that back here to the Campbell Industrial Area. That'll be our second or third movement. Our second movement will be the empty going back to the shipping terminal. That's what we're up to. It's kind of a gloomy gray day, but I kind of like that because we're into the hottest days of the year. So I'll take gloomy gray over um, you know, scorching hot like we had yesterday. It's very comfortable. Second movement of the day, MT coming back from the Campbell Industrial Area. Stripping it off at the strip pile four, stack 30. today so the terminals on a modified schedule they opened up at 7 today they'll close for lunch from 11 15 to 1 That's something we have to work around today So 
every day the dispatcher makes up a community list for the drivers. It's just a list of all the different containers that are in the community that we're working on. And uh, when I'm sitting around offloading, one of my favorite things to do is pull out that list, which can have anywhere from 60 to 120 items on it, and go through each one and see if I've ever been to that customer. And if I haven't, to look them up and see where they are, where they're located. A lot of times I've been there, I just can't remember. And so just now I was doing that, and uh, there was a commercial dive engineers inside the Hickam Air Force Base, which I thought was kind of. Oh, we got DOT here. Well, that orange flag is out means the DOT's flagging people down. I don't think they want an empty flat rack, but it's still it's supposed to be in the right lane. shots of the area it looks like an office building it doesn't look like a, a hangar or anything so I'm thinking maybe they're doing construction that's just where the offices are located maybe they want to load construction material which probably makes more sense yeah making our way back to our terminal here to our terminal I'm kind of curious as to how busy it is because it was jammed packed this morning I gotta move a few pallets out of the way. So we're working on our ninth movement of the day. We did uh, two loads going into the Inner Island Shipping Terminal and two empties coming out. And now we came over here to the gift bag. 
distributor. <laughs> they make all kinds of bags. I mean, distribute all kinds of bags here. Book bags, they call them. It's 145. We gotta take this back to the international shipping terminal, Pier 1. It's about three, four miles away. What we got, it's located here on Dillingham Boulevard and Dillingham Boulevard is completely destroyed by the construction for the new rail that's going to be built there maybe sometime in our lifetime. In situations like this, what you do is just pull on out and then wipe out the cones. You have to. I think we missed them all. Good job. So I guess we can stay on Dillingham for a couple of blocks. I tried to avoid it as much as possible because of all this construction. There's basically three roads that run the, the length of the city of Honolulu. One is Nimitz Highway, which we're on all the time. That's right along the waterfront. The next is Dillingham Boulevard here. And the last would be King Street. Actually, there's King and then there's also Middle. avoid this road as much as possible. There's a lot of uh, self-storage warehouses along here. Four of them, I think. See, I'll make a, a right at the light and that'll take us down to Nimitz and then we'll just make our way around the harbor to Pier 1. Cheapest gas on the island right here at Costco. It's $3.99 at the moment. Everywhere else is like $4.40 something. These people are all waiting to make left hand turns to Costco.
Lawrence Highway. <laughs> Turn left, go down half a mile, and then you hit the same construction again, where the rail is eventually going to go on the Nimitz Highway for about four blocks. So that's all under construction, too. The life of a trucker in Hawaii. Twenty-five. Finish off my endless amounts of paperwork. Get rid of the garbage. Get out the DBIR. That's the last thing I gotta do. Truck ran well. It's a little dirty. It needs a needs a bath, but. Maybe the night driver will do that. <laughs> I doubt it. Four hundred forty-one thousand two hundred ninety-one miles on the truck. It's a two thousand and five International eighty-six hundred. At the time, that was the smallest of the big trucks international made if I'm not mistaken so it's very maneuverable but it doesn't have a lot of power So the shrimp stir fry was delicious last night. I'm 
In fact, there's leftovers. I might just have a leftover dinner tonight. Got beans, got rice, got salad, got the shrimp. I have a little bit of chicken. Yeah, that's enough. Actually, there's actually enough to make a wrap. I'll probably make a wrap. But yeah, came in at 6 o'clock. We'll be out of here by 3.30. We did 10 container movements. We drove 117 miles. Off tomorrow. Back on Thursday. That's it for today, though. Thanks for watching. Aloha.